Mr. Tap Tap, and today I'm going to show you every hidden fish in this game. Uh, just a few quick things before we get started. One, by hidden fish, I mean fish in the normal tab, not in the fusion tab and not in the event tab. Those have their own videos. Uh, related to that, I have dozens of Abyssrium videos, guides on pretty much every topic, and also kind of a master text guide that's on my site. Uh, that's in the description, just at sirtaptap.com, you can find it. It answers pretty much any question you can have, uh, so if you have any, if you need to learn anything, check that out. And um, one other thing, I am not affiliated with the game developers in any way, shape, or form. They don't even reply to my support requests. Um, the name Sir Tap Tap is also not related to the game in any way. Um, Tap Taps are actually enemies from Yoshi's Island, the more you know. And I've had this name for about eight years. Occasionally people ask if I'm a developer or, you know, nah, sorry. Anyway, so we're just gonna be going right down the list. And if my guides help you out, you might check me out on patreon.com slash sirtaptap. Um, even just a buck a month helps me a lot, helps me write my guides, helps me keep the quality up and uh, all that stuff. So, we're just gonna go and mention all of the hidden fish only. So, first one here, blue clownfish. Take a picture of clownfish three times, pretty simple stuff. Snowflake clownfish, you need to go into settings, the little gear menu here, and press the Twitter button five times. Um, a lot of these, actually, you might need to press more than the amount it says. The game is pretty buggy in general, so it might be five times, it might be ten times. Um, just keep doing it, and uh, it should work. Uh, Randall's goby, take a picture of a goby three times. That's a pretty common kind of unlock, you know. Every new species or family of fish, I guess I should say. Um, probably just take a picture three times and see if it works, but uh, yeah. Clown Tang, take a picture of Tang five times. Like I said, common thing. Convict Tang, uh, do nothing for one hour. The game has to be open and your phone has to not turn off. So what you're probably gonna need to do is plug your phone in, leave the game on, and just leave the main menu up and open like it is right now and just sit there and uh, don't think about it too heavily. Uh, come back in a little bit more than an hour. And uh, it should be there. A lot of people have trouble with this one. Usually their phone just turns off. Uh, but that's why you need to plug it in. Also, since I know I'm going to get questions about this, the reason you see a little mouse cursor, this is called Nox App Player. Uh, it's basically an Android emulator for, for Windows um, and Mac. So Google search tap tap Nox App Player and I show you how to use it. But yeah, it's it's just straight up Android, so nothing's really too different. Uh, Naso Tang, this is one of the worst fish in the game. You gotta own 50 tangs, um, and that, that really means it. Um, I would not recommend going for this fish until you've gone all the way past the uh, blue whale, way down at the end of the thing. Um, the You can make, if you make fusion tangs, uh, it does work. Uh, so don't feel bad about making fusion fish while you're making that one. Uh, it's, like I said, it's a pain. Uh, juvenile Penny at Spadefish, this is another painful one. You gotta make five Facebook friends and they have to play the game and they have to, you gotta be signed into Facebook in the app. So to sign into Facebook, you need to click this little friends icon there at the top. You gotta log in with Facebook. Um, you can use a fake account if you want to. Uh, there's lots of groups and stuff for sharing Facebook friends. Um, just search Abyssrium on, um, Facebook and you find a ton of people to add you. Um, you can, it'll take maybe a half an hour of just waiting, you know, just send some replies to people in a, in a group and you can get it and then you can delete the account and remove it. Uh, you do get to keep the fish after you unlock it, so you can immediately remove Facebook from the app the moment that you unlock the spade fish, that's totally fine. Uh, there is no way around it though. You do have to use Facebook specifically. Um, there's a few other things where there's some slightly alternative options, but nah, not with that one. Cross Damsel, again, take a picture of Damsel three times. Nothing too fancy. Jewel Damsel, tap the upper left corner of the screen a thousand times. So that's kind of in this region here. Just kind of tap it and just, you know, not the most exciting unlock, but there you go. French Angel, save picture of Angel three times. So with that, rather than just taking a picture, so this is taking a picture. This is saving a picture. You know, click the save button. Pretty simple. And sharing is when you click the share button. So that one's a little bit, a little bit of a shakeup. The slightest possible bit of a shakeup. Scribble the angelfish, you need to press the see more button in photo award. So that's in here. Um, you gotta press the see more. And that um, doesn't work very often. 
Uh, a lot of people have a lot of grief with this one, just like the Twitter one. Uh, you might have to do it many, many times. It eventually does work, though, trust me. Peppermint Angel. This one's a little bit complicated, so, well, not that complicated. It's basically like the Naso Tang. You need to own 30 angels, but there is one angel that does not work. Um, which one is it? I have this up over here. Uh, Peppermint Angel. Fusion Fish, okay, the Masked Angel. The Masked Angel does not count for this. Um, that's a bug. I'm not sure if it's fixed in the latest version. It could be. Uh, it could be by the time you watch this video anyway. But if you want to be super careful, don't make any Masked Angel until you have that fish unlocked. Queen Angel, Fragile Stanghorn Coral reaches level 3000. That's going to take a while. That's going to be passed. You'll be past uh, Z Vitality at that point. So don't worry too much about that one. Just level up your corals naturally. You'll eventually get it. Springy daughter or Springer Dotty back. Share picture three times. Uh, that's a pretty simple one. Um, Spotted Mandarin Dragonet. So this is a rather infamous one. Well, not this one specifically, but start application upon notification. What that means is even if you go into the settings menu and disable notifications, um, the actually the option that says notice in the gear menu, that only means for the your vitality is ready kind of notification. You can turn that off totally if you don't care about that notification. Um, which you probably shouldn't. Uh, it's not really a great amount of vitality. But um, what this means is there are special notifications that will appear exactly 30 minutes after you close the app. So what you can do is close the app, open your phone's clock, set it forward 31 minutes, then open the app, even if you don't see a notification, and um, see if it works. I have a video, search Sir Tap Tap uh, notification fish, and you'll see it. Um, there's four fish like this, and the problem is on some devices, particularly iPhone devices, they just don't get notifications from this game, and I don't know what the deal is exactly with that, if it's a bug that they can fix or not, but, um, I mean, I, I'm pretty sure it's possible to be fixed, but I mean, like I said, there's some bugs, you just have to deal with them. But uh, if you don't get that fish for maybe a week or so, I would just check out that video that I mentioned to just force the unlock. Because some people go months without getting the whale shark, which is a later fish that has that condition. It's kind of silly. It's kind of silly. Moorish Idol, take a picture of mystery chest five times. That's uh, this little duder right here, the little chest and the, you know, the, the only chest in the game. But yeah, just got to take a picture of it. Pajama Cardinal, you just gotta open the application 20 times in one day. If you're addicted like I was when I started, you'll probably get that your very first day. Um, you, you don't have to close the app, you just kinda have to, you know, click to home screen, boop it right back open, and uh, you can get it pretty quickly. Panther Grouper, you gotta share a photo of a par parrotfish 10 times. Um, parrotfish include these two dooders and the Mai Mai. The Mai Mai is another buggy one. I'm so sorry, but there's a lot of buggy ones. Uh, you need to play at midnight 10 times. And what that means is not like 10 consecutive days, but you need to basically, you know, boop out, boop back in around midnight. And um, this is after midnight. And uh, so you can change your clock forward if you don't happen to be playing at midnight, like most people won't be. Um, Sometimes changing the clock doesn't work for this, and it's just weird, and sometimes people just randomly get it uh, at a totally non-midnight hour. Um, I wouldn't really worry about it too much. I would try the clock trick that I mentioned, and if you don't get it, just play the game normally for a week, and you might just get it. It's weird. We've, we've never found a totally consistent situation with that one. Uh, the Colacanth is just one of these fish that you just get uh, for the rewards calendar. So just play the game for 28 days. And you have to be online to get that. So you have to be online to do a lot of stuff in this game. Uh, the game does function offline, but there's a great deal of stuff that doesn't really work. So don't recommend it. Uh, camel cowfish, share a picture of the boxfish, boxfish three times. Uh, pretty much anything that looks vaguely like a puffer is considered a boxfish in this game. The eastern boxes, the, the triggers, uh, the cowfish. These are all considered uh, boxfish for this this friend. Uh, juvenile spotted boxfish. That's another one of those start application upon notification one. Um, also, these ones might may or may not require certain corals. Uh, we are sure that the one of the later ones requires a coral. So I wouldn't try this trick immediately. Like I would try after getting this uh, green spongeodes spongodes. I'm not sure what that is. Um, but yeah, after you get that coral, uh, try this maybe. I wouldn't try it before it because it might require it. Sea Slug, again, just play the game for seven days. Um, there'll be a little 
notification calendar that pops up. Striped Marlin. Oh boy. That's kind of a story and a half. I have, uh, this, this fish has its own video. That's usually not a good sign. So the Striped Marlin, um, let me just show you what the Striped Marlin looks like. The thing with the Striped Marlin is that every 30 minutes after you purchase the, um, Starhorn Coral, I believe, there's a chance that this guy will show up. They say it's about 10% chance. Uh, it really seems to be a lot lower than 10. But what happens is they swoosh all around from the top of the screen, then swoosh, 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 down, and then uh, eventually they'll swoop back up and disappear. And they'll do that with a certain percent chance every 30 minutes uh, until you take a picture of them. And you just have to, what you should do is just go, once you see them, you know, see little friends like this in your tank, and they move really fast. You you probably will notice if they do visit. Like, they, they zoom around and there's a group of uh, three to six of them, I think. But what you should do if you if they appear, open the, open the uh, little camera here, immediately take a picture. It doesn't have to be of the striped marlin. Because this lets you freeze frame, and once it's freeze framed, you can move the camera around. Then, you can focus on this thing, click retake photo, snap it, and then you've got your picture of the star striped marlin, or the regular striped marlin. Uh, there's a few other fish like that in the game that's just really annoying, but that's the only normal hidden fish that's like that. But yeah. If you have more questions, um, check out that Star Strike Marlin video, but really, there's nothing to say, but all of your theories about what makes the Marlin work, they're all false. Um, it's really just random chance, and you just have to wait. It's There's nothing you can do to make it really happen. It, it's it's a shame, but yeah. Pop Billy Seahorse, again, share the picture of Seahorse three times. And as a trick, for sharing, anything that says you need to share stuff, you don't really need to share stuff. All you gotta do, take the picture, click share, and then once you get to your, uh, once you get to the next menu, just click back. And um, that works even if it takes you to like Twitter. Just go back into the app and it already counts as a share. It can't tell if you actually share. That would be a pretty big privacy violation actually. Um, so you don't have to spam your friends, you just have to pretend. So, so I highly recommend doing that because that would be real bad. Anyway, Pygmy Seahorse, this is another one like the Mai Mai. Play it 4 a.m. five times, regular human time to play video games, 4 a.m. Uh, yeah, like I said, Clock Cheat is a good way to try to get that, but this is another one. Uh, I forget which one. One of them is super buggy. I think both of them. People tend to get one but not the other, and it's just inconsistent and drives you nuts. But again, a lot of people just get this randomly while playing normally, so I would try the cheat, open the game five times when it says it's around 4 or a.m. If that doesn't work, just play the game normally for like a week, and you might just get it. Um, the Leafy Sea Dragon is the start of an interesting mix of hidden and normal fish, so... The leafy sea dragon will show as hidden, but it's not really hidden. It just requires the white swinging enemy, but it does not show up in your menu until you get the white swinging enemy. And um, that's just, the white sea anemone is just really expensive. Let me, I have the uh, prices here. Somewhere. Oh, these are out of order. Sea dragon, okay. So the white swinging enemy costs 200 AV vitality. So you won't be getting it for a while if you you know just start it. So don't worry about it. You'll get there eventually. Ribbon Sea Dragon, more of the same. White Swing and Enemy required. Weedy Sea Dragon, White Swing and Enemy required. Take a picture of the food, de the delicious food skill. Just pretty much just use the skill and then take a picture and you should get it. But you have to have the White Swing. Red Weedy Sea Dragon. That's another one of those notification fish. So that's not fun. Um, this one also silently requires that you've gotten the whale shark. You won't get the notification for that unless you've gotten the whale shark. Um, the, the fish are kind of out of order, so you'll hear me refer to the whale shark. That's further down. Even though you get these fish way later than you get the jellyfish. I don't know what's up with the order, but uh, I didn't program it, so. Giant sea dragon, which unfortunately isn't a real creature, but it's very majestic, so I'll excuse it. That requires the white swing an enemy and collect all four of the sea dragons. So that'll be a common theme as well. Moon jellyfish. Oh, that's a normal fish, right? So once you get the moon jellyfish, you can get the moth singer by share taking a picture of jellyfish ten times. And uh, oh, I should have mentioned a little bit earlier, but any fish in this tab will never. No event fish ever count for fish in this tab. So you might get an event jellyfish and be like, oh, I can take a picture of that. And no. 
it doesn't work that way. Uh, it has to be a normal fish. It can't be a fusion fish. Uh, it can't be an event fish. Actually, maybe it can be an fusion fish. I'm not sure that's ever come up. But event fish never count for normal fish. Normal fish never count for event fish. They're totally separate, so just slice those two right down the middle in your mind and separate them out. Octopus. This is another semi-hidden one where you need you just need the blue table coral. Uh, blue table coral costs three AC vitality to unlock. Again, this guy should be up above the sea dragons. I don't know what's the, what the deal is, but anyway, you just need the blue table coral and you unlock the octopus. Then once you do that, buy three octopi and you'll get the little cuttlefish friend. Vampire squid. You need the blue table coral first. Um, and then you can tap the screen 1,000 times in the upper right corner this time. Uh, I think if you've already tapped the screen, you'll get it the moment you buy the blue table coral. But don't tap the coral screen uh, like until you have it, because you won't know when it's been 1,000. So yeah. Piglet Squid. Share a photo of Vampire Squid five times. Again, you don't have to really share. Uh, the Giant Squid is actually not with the other squids exactly. You just have to play the game 35 days to get it. Oh, and Cheating the Clock does not work for any of the play game for X Days fish. Uh, it's an online, like, it uses the server time, not your time, to, you know, prevent cheating. So, don't even try that. The only fish that really you can do the clock cheat with are the Notification Fish and the, the, uh, Mai Mai and, uh, the little seahorse buddy. Colossal Squid, Blue Table Coral, and Collect All Molusca. There's a very poor uh, description. What it really means is you need uh, octopus, cuttlefish, vampire squid, and piglet squid. The other four things that require the blue table coral. Uh, there's several other mollusks in this game that uh, don't count for it, and the giant squid doesn't count for it either. So, yeah. That's why that's why you, you, you should be listening to the audio instead of just reading the descriptions in-game, because they're very often wrong, which is why I would always recommend checking out the guide. It's not just because I'm crazy and narcissistic. Uh, the in-game descriptions are just wrong uh, fairly often, and I'll point that out in a few other cases. Um, so yeah, the, the community has to kind of figure out what's real and what isn't, and it's, it's an interesting metagame. Anyway, Giant Isopod. I love this little guy. He's so cute. Um, play the game for 18 day, or 14 days. So yeah, simple enough. Use delicious food 50 times. Simple stuff. It'll take you a while, but it's simple. Uh, don't worry about it. Sea pig. So these guys, I get a lot of questions about. These require pink tree coral. That requires CS vitality, which is a lot. Like, we're talking, you'll probably be playing the game for a month. Uh, possibly several months before you get it. So I hope you didn't get the game just to get the sea pig and hope to get it in a week. It'll take a while, but you can do it. So yeah, that's a... That's all you have to do for that one. And hatchet fish, again, just the pink tree coral. Blobfish, you need the pink tree coral and share a photo of sea pig five times. Mega mouse shark, pink tree coral required again. You need to save, save 15 rail sharks. That's an interesting way to put it, but you just need to purchase 15 great white sharks. I, I don't know why it says save in that context, but you know, whatever. Gulper eel, pink tree coral, and you have to own 250 fish. Uh, don't even worry about that. You will certainly own 250 fish by the time you get to CS Vitality, so you'll just instantly unlock that. Or fish. These are so out of order, like I said. Play the game for 21 days. Kemp's Ridley Turtle. Uh, oh, that's not hidden. <laughs> I'm getting all excited here. Okay, open Mystery Chest 50 times. This is unfortunately one of the things where you will have to watch ads. The Mystery Chest does take an ad to watch every time, so... If you're super adverse to ads, you can pretty much stop watching ads after getting the leatherback turtle, but the, uh, the leatherback turtle won't be your friend if you don't watch 50 ads, unfortunately. Commersion dolphin, or cumbersome dolphin, excuse me. I don't know why I always say it like that. Um, this one's a total lie, like I said, and this has been in the game. This error has been in the game for, since it started really, for over a year. Um, it says save the picture of the cor lonely Coralite three times, which would be one of the e earliest uh, hidden fish that you can get and uh, no, that's not the case uh, Like you might have a sneaking suspicious suspicion What it really means is save a picture of a dolphin three times any dolphin counts and the narwhal also counts as a dolphin So that is your trick to an, an early dolphin if you want um, because you can get a dolphin. I mean they're both whales so oh, close enough uh, narwhal tap the top left corner 5,000 times 
Oh, and um, by the way, this is just a bug that they never fixed, but um, don't drum multiple fingers in the game. The game only counts up to, I forget if it's two or three, but it, it counts less than four tap points at this time. Uh, it used to count beyond five even. It used to be really nice about that. Um, it's, a, it's a tapping game. It should record taps well, right? Well, yeah. <laughs> uh, but yeah, just drum three fingers. Never use more than four fingers. Otherwise, basically, if you tap with three fingers, it counts as three taps. If you tap with four fingers, it counts as one tap. So you, you're actually making it worse by yourself for yourself by tapping with four. Uh, I, again, that's a bug that might be fixed at any time. Um, it's a bug that might be made worse at any time. It's it's kind of hard to tell sometimes, unfortunately. Uh, Manta Ray. So your photo of Stingray, Twitter, three times. That's, that's an excellent sentence. Um, so, this, again, this is not actually correct. Uh, ignore the word Twitter. You just have to share a photo. It's, it, it doesn't require Twitter. You don't have to install Twitter. Don't worry about it. Uh, you can use any app that it lets you. Um, and by Stingray, it means any ray. It doesn't have to be a Stingray. There actually is not a Stingray in, in the game. Uh, the Spotted Eagle Ray is what you will really be sharing. But yeah. Sawfish. Despite being with the other rays, these require the orange blade coral, which is again, pretty expensive. What does that one cost? 11 BP vitality. So once you get 11 BP vitality, you'll unlock the sawfish, shovel nose guitar fish. The torpedo ray requires 75 kinds of normal fish. You will, you'll have that by the time you get the BP vitality. So don't worry about that one. Uh, Bowmouth Guitarfish has very important implications for how you spend your gems. So you need to upgrade each skill to level 11. And what that means, um, only these three are counted as skills. Volcanic Eruption, Delicious Food, and Song of the Moon. So all of your first gems should first go to Song of the Moon until it's level 11, then Delicious Food until it's level 11, and then Volcanic Eruption. You can kind of balance Delicious Food and Song of the Moon, but uh, to keep things simple, I mean, it doesn't really matter. Just don't buy beyond level 11 because the costs start going up and you specifically need level 11 of those. Um, there's other, these things aren't considered skills. These are called magic items at the bottom. So just, just these things that you can cast up here. Those are your skills. And uh, it, it, this does require a lot of gems, but if you don't spend gems on anything but those, uh, there's enough free gems to get that in the game, I believe. You might have to watch some ads for gems, but you know, <laughs> that's, why, that's why they made a requirement anyway, right? Uh, again, giant guitar fish, 200 total fish required. You'll already have 200 fish by the time you unlock it. Hammerhead shark, save a, save a picture of a shark three times. Basking shark, good boy, very good boy. He's out of order with the other giant green kelp fish. But yeah, again, giant green kelp costs DL vitality. That is that is months down the line in all likelihood. Maybe one month if you're really, really intense. But uh, yeah, so yeah, you'll you'll see him later. Don't worry. Great white whale shark. That's another. That's a start of uh, application upon notification thing. Again, uh, that one requires Starhorn Coral, which would makes me suspect that the other ones require Coral as well. So you can't get it until you have the Starhorn. After you get the Starhorn Coral, like I said, you can move the clock forward 30 minutes um, after closing the app and then open the app again, blah, blah, blah. Like I said, if you need extra help with that, just search for tap, tap notification fish. I got a video to help you out. Legendary Sunfish. So this is a fish that's been removed from the game three times and put back in the game three times and it's it might be disappeared by the time you're watching this video. Uh, and it might not be. It's <laughs> it's really hard to tell. But all you have to do, tap Sunfish's Vitality a hundred times and that's only this Sunfish. Again, Event Sunfish don't count. Event Fish never count for anything in this tab. And uh, it helps to have a couple of Sunfish, but it, it sounds more awful than it is. What you should do is just store all of your fish but your sunfish and just tap it until the, the pop-up comes up. And every once in a while, the notification won't show up that you got a hidden fish, but you will in fact get the hidden fish. Uh, that's particularly the case when you unlock multiple ones at once, which doesn't happen very often. But if you're absolutely sure that you've done a thing and you've done it twice and it still hasn't unlocked, double check the fish list and see if it's not just there. Uh, the dugong used to be hidden. I don't think it's hidden anymore, but just in case you need to own 78 times types of fish So just just get one of each fish in general and uh, 
it should be good. That's generally the way to play until you've gotten, you know, one of each. Well, one of each that you can get anyway. There's some like the uh, Naso tank where you have to make 50 other tanks to get it, so yeah. Uh, there's the good old whales. Dwarf whale. So the dwarf whale, again, this requires giant green kelp, so DL vitality, that's a lot. And uh, 99 kinds of normal fish, which you will probably have by that time. You'll probably have blue whale, uh, own 70 types of fish. Not sure if that's hidden or not. I'll just sleep, but yeah, that's all you have to do. Uh, let's kind of just get all of the other fish above it and you'll get it kind of thing. Beluga whale, giant green kelp. You need to own 10 Irrawaddy dolphins. Those are the little nubular headed ones back up this wise. Yeah, I don't know where they are. Ah, no. I don't want to open the chest, buddy. Migaloo! This one's a pain in the in the batuti, so what you gotta do needs giant green kelp, DL vitality, blah blah blah. And you need to share a photo of 100 different kinds of fish. Easiest way to do this is to share a photo. Every time you unlock a fish, just share. And you know, air quotes, share. Just close out after you have the draft open. So you don't actually spam your friends with 100 fish. I know your friends love fish, but they don't need to see that many fish, alright? But yeah, just share every fish you get, and by the time you get a giant green kelp, you should unlock Migaloo. Failing that, you have an arduous task where you have to take out basically one, you know, one of every fish and, you know, swoop around and take all the pictures and it's, it's bad. Just do the thing where you take a photo of every fish as you get them and it's much easier. Thousand years old blue whale. So basically you just have to own all normal fish. Uh, it's not really... That hidden. Actually, I don't think this is even shown as hidden. And unfortunately, you can only buy one of the thousand-year-old blue whales. So yeah, um, it re also requires the blue whale, which is kind of silly because <laughs> that's included in all normal fish. But uh, whatever. So that is all of the hidden fish as of this moment, and it's been over a year since they added new fish. They seem to just add hidden fusion fish and stuff. Uh, if you want to know how to get the hidden fusion fish, I have videos on that. Event fish, I got videos on those. Um, at the end of this video, there'll be a nice little card, end card, that shows you the playlist. So you can just watch all the other videos there. I talk about, seriously, like every single thing in the game. So if you got questions, check those out first. Check out the written guide. Um, I, I've tried to uh, write it up and include pretty much every question everybody's asked me that makes any kind of sense. And a few that didn't make any kind of sense, because sometimes, Life doesn't make sense. But that's all the hidden fish. I'm Sir SirTapTap. Um, enjoy the game. And if my guides help, like I said, maybe check out the patron. You can get pictures of my cat, who I'm amazed did not disrupt me during this video. And you might have noticed I made an earlier hidden all hidden fish video. And the real difference between that one and this one is just that I had a horrible, horrible audio quality. And I could not stand that video being um, my most watched Abyssrium video. It's not my most watched video, which is kind of a surprise, but uh, I guess it's mostly due to age, but yeah. It was so bad, I had to record off my phone, and that, that was, those were bad times, and now I just use Nox to record it. Anyway, if you wanna learn more stuff about Abyssrium, check out the guide, there'll be a link in the description. Check out my channel, you can subscribe to see whenever I post a video about you know this game, and I post, check out a lot of other games as well. So if you like chill games and uh, unique you know, stuff that's a little bit underrated, but still really, really good, uh, you might enjoy my stuff. So, hope to see you around the channel. Happy tapping.